Just checking to maybe show my face cams moving. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, I need to do it again. Okay, so, um, yes, um, last time I played, I, um, managed to f uh, force an entry into this, uh, secret cave, um, complex within this rocky hill, didn't I? So, um, just take these items with us and um, see what we find in the way. After all, it looked a bit, a bit different from that little bit of the number from what I saw in that split second that I was in there just then. Like with this um, obvious looking beanstalk in the uh, and a differently designed ceiling, which I actually like. I feel like it's an improvement to the to a definite improvement to the cave from the other version of this game. So let's see if our umbrella still protects us from the dripping water, right? We, yes, it does. And we have another diamond here, too, fortunately. And I can't actually climb this uh, beanstalk, oh, can we? Oh, and there's still the uh, acid pill, just like a fort. And it looks like that uh, column to the top right is the underside of that pit that I've been avoiding by Dylan, doesn't it? Which has a rope fastened over the top of it. Anyway, obviously, I'm guessing we still need to use the bridge kit on this acid pool, which is why I brought it here, yes. Using the bridge kit, you build a bridge, or you build a bridge over the pool, boy, boy. So, yes, um, looks like it could be a bit more difficult jumping over this bat or with the, um... With the ceiling that's closest to the, to the pool, doesn't it? But I managed it nonetheless, baby dolls. Thanks to the following dizzy friends. Boy, boy. Pizza, boy, boy. Alex, boy, boy. Abs, boy, boy. And Peter is uh, the one, he might be the one who made the Dizzy Edge, um, uh, the Dizzy Edge uh, software that allows people to make Dizzy games, fan made Dizzy games, but I'm not sure. And I must say, I'm definitely liking this remodeled version of these caves so far. And it looks like we've got a scary feel as well. Presumably we'll be using this to um, um, uh, cut into the tree that has the diamond disconced within it, won't we? But yes, I'm not going to take it just yet because... Um, Because I'm guessing we won't be able to actually get out of the castle the other way. Just yet. Ah, a clump of mushrooms hiding a diamond. Uh, I'll leave it here for the time being. So, have we got, yes, we've got the key to open this door, haven't we, to the castle back door? Definitely, I definitely here prefer the design of the caves in this version. The door creaks slowly open, boy, boy. 
And there's the king again, looking all stern and all forward and dashingly handsome in that picture portrait on the wall there. And we get a music change again. So I wonder if, um, if the say, if the, um, if there's gonna be a hidden diamond in the, uh, you know, in, in one of the pillars like there was in, um, in the other version, in the classic version of this game. Never hurts to try, does it? And sure enough, there is. Wee. Okay then. Well, well, if this version decides to throw us a curveball and has a diamond hidden in this pillar that I haven't checked for far, then you end up going to descend down this pit just yet. Instead, I'll do this in a nice orderly fashion and check the floors, floor by floor, one at a time. I think this um, brick pillar here, or chimney breast type structure here, uh, is an update and an improvement and an upgrade on the uh, previous version as well. Always comes in handy to check the background details, as you can see, doesn't it? Yes, I am definitely liking the greater detail in this version. And as you can see here, um, Seamus the Leprechaun is in a different location, isn't he? Has a different sprite too. He looks somewhat bigger and... Um, more formidable, and he seems to be blocking my progress past him too. I shame as can I get past Bray Bray? No, Bray Bray! I'm not happy, laddie! So no one is passing until I am Bray Bray! Why aren't you happy, boy, boy? <laughs> the troll stole my lucky charm, son. I'll find it for you, boy, boy. Yes. So we aren't going to be able to to uh, leave it, be leaving the castle to the western side after all. Just yes, it would appear. Uh, never mind. I was gonna take the chain link piece over here, but I won't bother now. Not just yet, anyway. Not that desperate for ideas, you see. Here we are in the main stairwell, too. And we find the king again, along with a diamond behind him. What have you got to say about the situation, my king? Bray Bray, the trolls have stolen my sword, Bray Bray, find me a new one, Bray Bray. Well that's short and sweet and straight to the point, isn't it? The king with his demands, and already we're up to 20 diamonds in our possession as well. We're really progressing on that front now, aren't we? Hey, and there's some machinery up here too. I wonder what this could do. And a box. Might contain some stuff. But I'm not seeing any... Evidence to support that conclusion at the moment, at this point in time. You examine the machine, boy, boy. It seems to be a key-making device, boy, boy. So... 
If we have devious deeds in mind regarding making forged keys to get into places we shouldn't be able to get into, we know where to come, don't worry, in our to server get such a key for ourselves. And yes, here I am managing to get to this secret entrance into the mines again in order to get that diamond. Bringing our total up even higher. So, you know, I won't leave the, the umbrella behind just yet. Hey, uh, and uh, that big giant woman from the other game has been replaced by um, another knight in shining armor. Making that crazy kid to sing out proud and happy. Making him feel like he's having an influence on these things. Regarding the content of the game and whatnot. Danger lies below, pray, pray. Are you sure you're brave enough to investigate, pray, pray? Not just yet. Ah, the perpetually dark room. And strangely, we get the musical change to filling us with the mood that we're outdoors in the wilderness again, rather than in the dark depths of the subterranean floors of this castle here. Behold. Behold the room that cannot be lit. Pray, pray. Many things have been lost here. Pray, pray. You mean I just die in the woods? I wonder if there'll actually be anything else in here now, though. You know, in case Jamie wants to throw us a curveball and change things that are in here from what they were in the classic version, but not gonna put too much force and effort into that just shirt. Another note the huge. The huge hall rises far above your head, boy, boy. and your head is close enough to the ground to begin with, boy, boy. so that gives you a good indication as to the size and scope of this room, boy, boy. Our well, narrators sure getting awful informative and factual the now, isn't he? Must be trying to show off his knowledge and vocabulary to impress the world. And now we have a goblet. And here the Joker, or the Jester, whatever he chooses to call himself. Oh, my terrible memory! I'm a fucking complete failure, boy, boy! What's up, Joker, boy, boy? I've lost my precious Joker, boy, boy! Would you try to find it for me, boy, boy? I'm rather busy at the moment, but I'll try, pray, pray. Oh, thank you, talk again, pray, pray. You make it sound like I haven't got, like, um, a lot of brothers and sisters and a granddad talking gag around the place. Surely I must have seen them around and about from time to time. Oh uh, well, yes, as you can see, that same portrait of my little misadventure to Treasure Island is up there on the wall, isn't it? And me floundering and panicking in the water, 
by the island, fighting for my life against a turbulent current. Not gonna shut the basement just yet, so uh, instead, let's see if we can get to um, the castle kitchen again. You never know what might be in there this time, after all, do you? Still can't get... still can't seem to get into this, um... fixture of swords and shields on the wall, either. This is kinda hard to get onto this ledge, isn't it? Yes. Maybe I was wrong about remembering uh, a diamond being hidden within that fixture of swords and a shield. Unless it just occurs here in this room. Not seeing it though. Oh, that was a close jump, wasn't it? <sighs> Listen to the tapping percussion of the music. That's very innovative for 8-bit music, isn't it, Sunny Jim? Um, and another diamond for our collection and a microwave too. I wonder if this microwave will be another red herring item like in the, in the other version, the classic version. Welcome to the castle kitchen, boy boy. There... There is another on the left. And a preparation table on the right, boy, boy. Unfortunately, the other flames died long ago, boy, boy. And the author of that note says that with such a crushing note of finality, doesn't say such a crushing tone of finality. Like he's totally lost hope in regards to um, future cookery that might possibly be done in this room. Anyway, let's collect the microwave just in case it actually is useful this time. Another diamond too. Bringing our collection number. Nicely and handsomely up to 23. And now to descend. And I didn't get hurt. How about that, eh, baby dolls? You see, I'm learning after all, aren't I now? Don't need any of this fruit just yet either. Even though it doesn't actually restore our health up all the way, I feel like I still have enough to, um, to go for a considerable amount of time without needing to um, eat any. So, let's see if I can descend into here without dying in this dangerous dungeon, yes. And we get some eerie, scary musical change again. I'm liking this greater detail in this place too. And uh, there's another scary gargoyle there. Don't like that. Especially with me being a Christian. With how they look. With how they look evil and demon evil and demonic. Seems like uh, I can't actually collect any of those sword handles. So I wonder if I actually um, 
needs the um, sword from House of the Wolf for the King God of a Sword Hand Double suffice for him again. Music is very eerie and unsettling and atmospheric, isn't it? For these souls here in the basement or the dungeon. Lots of spiders' webs here too. Kind of giving the distinct impression that uh, maybe this place doesn't get much tender loving care. I'll collect the skeleton's legs. See if they're hiding any diamonds. A powerful wrench, eh? Eerie atmospheric music is kind of giving me Half-Life 2 tone. Half-Life 2 vibes, pretty much. It, it was like this um, Half-Life 2 mod that I once downloaded and played a few times. It was called Half-Life 2 Minerva Metastasis, I think. And um, even though I had fun doing it and it was atmospheric and scary and whatnot, um, at the end, um, well, I didn't really take, I didn't really appreciate all the unnecessary uh, profanity in it, really. And um, at the end, the author said something atheistic, potentially atheistic, and um, didn't really take too kindly to that. So, yeah, I don't like him anymore. He ended up working for Valve after making that. Um, mod as well because the uh, Valve Corporation staff like the mod so much. So can we get in here to rescue Daisy yet? No. Not really much of a surprise though. And yes, um, music similar to this. Yes, we can get a sword handle as you can see. Hey, the music's getting a bit up tempo though all of a sudden, isn't it? Giving our rather unpleasant and uh, threatening surroundings. So, um, I wonder what the point of that is. Could the music be telling us to have hope in these times of despair and hopelessness? Or is it a kind of bug causing randomly uplifting music to play after the original foreboding music ceases to play? Guess we can only find out as time progresses. Or maybe that was just the inevitable conclusion to um, that original rather threatening and malevolent piece that was playing. And I'm not going to try getting that diamond down uh, in the, by the spike just yet in case, um, you know, I kind of get the, um, in case I get my falls wrong with that uh, invisible floor. That was down there last time, enabling me to get that uh, diamond. That was down by the spike pads. I wonder if, um, if I need to use this wrench on the machine up here, by the way. Doesn't seem like it at the moment. Doesn't really look like a wrench either, does it? looks kind of like a kind of... Um, kind of break for a minecart, doesn't it? Like a break for the minecart in a spellbound dizzy pretty much. Anyway, does the king want a sword handle like he did in the other version? Yes. You are king, boy, boy. Dizzy, you fool. How can I fight using a sword handle, boy, boy? It's a way in disgust, boy, boy. Well, that's gratitude for you, isn't it? 
So, I wonder what I do to appease the king this time. And I'm wondering if maybe the wrench is used um, for the mine cars in the mines, or to get the sword out of the wall, maybe in the castle above. Uh, yeah, I'll be heading out. After all, I can still get water uh, in my bucket, can't I? And a beach. Still got an umbrella too. So now to make our way back up, but now to now take the scythe with us. So that we'll be able to get that diamond from out of the tree. Which is ensconced within the greenery and the thick growth of the tree. Although I wonder if we need to cut down this beanstalk with a scythe, maybe. Seems not at this moment in time, anyway. And now we're out in the fresh air again. That must be a quite a poignant feeling, if that's how you say the word poignant, that is. Or is it poignant? I'm not quite sure in this day and age. Of surreptitious conduct and duplicity and deceit. And subterfuge. Yes. Lots of twisted, dishonest activity is going on in the world as it is today. I'll take the wrench um, into the mines just in case it does actually work on the minecart. And the bird in the bucket too, if you understand. In order to fill it at the beach here. If that's what we actually need to do, anyway. Doesn't seem to be working, though. Yeah, that's... unfortunate. <sighs> I'll leave the bucket here then for the time being and um, see if the wrench works on the minecarts. What do you say, baby dolls? It's good I made that fall in time, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't be slowed down by the lift. So now to try our uh, wrench on the minecart. No. Didn't work. Uh, up we go then. We. It's the main lift shaft. So I thought I was going to fall there and waste time. That oh, wasn't that a good skillful jump there, baby dolls? And that was skillful too, wasn't it? Oh, I managed to get up onto this cliff face with my first attempt at the jump there. Now to have a wander about. As we try to um, gather ideas in regards to what to do. <laughs> Wonder if this is where I fill our bucket. Guess not. Maybe the umbrella helps with uh, helps us to get into the water. Not that that probably would be a smart idea, really, with how we don't have uh, swimming equipment or anything at this given moment in time. Oh, I 
another hidden diamond too. Oh, nice. Bringing our total up again. Further and further up to... Further and further higher. So all that total of 50 to which we aspire to reach. Okay then, let's investigate the castle here. And maybe I need to fill the bucket up with water in the moat at the front of the castle, eh? Yeah. For instance... Yes. You fill the bucket with water, boy, boy. While you're drowning, because, well, which is hardly practical, boy, boy. Well, if you'd stop talking so much, narrator, I, I wouldn't have to spend so much time drowning while filling the buckets while stood completely underwater, would I? You throw the water runs the flames, boy, boy. So does our powerful wrench get us in the air? No. So now we have a key for the elevator mechanism. And can we actually get onto this ledge this time? No. Still got that same invisible ceiling above us at the pier. So maybe the wrench actually gets the sword out of the wall here, maybe. After all, it's a powerful wrench, so it could be strong enough. Yes. Using the wrench. Force the sword from the wall, boy, boy. For it snaps off like a twig, boy, boy. Well then, what can we do with another sword handle? And also, of course, this is the blade, and um, now that the king has the. Uh, um, now that the king has the um, sword handle, maybe he'll be able to stick the blade together if this is actually a blade and not the sword handle that it looks like. Um, then maybe yes, um, we, we will solve the puzzle. It's always a possibility in this day and age, after all. When people like to be deceitful and tricky. And now we have another um, key for the mine. Elevator mechanisms, don't we? I'll take the scythe. And, um, well, maybe not yet. And a sword, a broken sword. Well, actually, maybe not yet, because I'll investigate further into the mines instead, first of all, I think. Let's go. See if we can venture further into the treacherous depths of the fans and dolls of the mine and complex boy boy. Yes, up we go. I suppose I should take the pickaxe because there is going to be more digging to be done in the uh, mining complex if it's as similar to the uh, classic version of this game as I remember it being, isn't it? Uh, so down we go. So 
all. Which elevator mechanism is it do I need to unlock this time? Not that one. Is it over here? No. Oh, we can break this block this time. No. This boulder rather. Don't be sounding all hopeless with me music. You know I'm making good progress this time. So enough of that negativity. Let's see what we find down here. And can I break through this wall? No. Well, where is that mechanism then? I mean, I have checked near enough every word, or I can possibly check, haven't I? Uh, I noticed there's like um, one. Unless there's like one underneath that, uh, uh, in that sandy section of the mine, maybe. Can always look. Although I thought there was only that one here in this sandy section. Yeah, see, there's no um, mechanism here. So am I missing something or... Um, or is there like another quest we need to do first before we can progress further into this mine section? I mean, I don't think there'll be another um, elevator mechanism that I haven't yet... Um, Activated over here beyond the one that I used here. Although this is a long section according to this note here, so maybe there is another elevator mechanism here, but yeah, but I can't just get down to it, can I? Uh, yeah, that's curious. I suppose I can give him more thought in between videos. Since I am kind of running out of time. But yes, um, I suppose that without we're running out of time, I might as well try doing something risky and, uh, and uh, take a dip in this water. And uh, see if we can get the diamond that might be under here without dying. Yes, there it is. Not gonna read that note either since it'll probably just be taunting me. Oh, yes, I was awful close as never I managed it in the end. After a little bit of panic, of course. So, yes, um. Should I stop our video now? Yes, I'd say I will. So, um... With how we're close to our stash of, of, of items, let's head over there first. Put our stuff down so that we can um, 
So do I can generate ideas in my head in between parts if I actually need to. Oh, 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 that was ridiculous, wasn't it? Such terrible luck, Dwellen. But, um... No matter, I'm not gonna reload my old save of our Amelie and all. So, um, yes, let's save the game, and I'll come out of the game, and... I'll see you all next time, baby dolls, since we've almost gone as long as in my previous videos. So until next time, bye-bye. Goodbye.